The film opens with an account of the general and his queen's love tale. Though it seems like a normal love story in which both end up dead, the greatest tragedy is over three golden eggs. It is revealed that on their wedding day, the monarch gave the queen these golden eggs. It was hard to determine their actual worth. They were just rumors for years. Later on, however, two eggs were discovered. Where is the third egg, though? Remains a mystery. While the first one was sold in the market, a museum exhibited the other egg. We also see a man creating an artificial egg. In the next scene, we see that the FBI team enters the museum where the golden egg is kept. An officer leads the FBI team, here we see John and his partner. The manager is instructed to clear the museum by the partner. They have information that the thief will steal eggs from this location. John claims that this is an artificial egg, and that the robber has already taken it. The manager mockingly ignores him since he doesn't believe it. Meanwhile, John takes a cold drink from a child and pours on the egg. As the cold drink fell on, it melted down. John's friend hurriedly asks to seal the museum. Here we watch the thief who runs after watching the soul. John and the rest of the squad attempt to apprehend him, but the cunning thief flees, misleading everyone. The whole FBI team keeps looking. After some time, we see the thief traveling near an island on a boat. As he brings the egg from the bag, he suddenly hears John's voice. The thief realizes John has come along with his team to arrest him. Here John declares, till the time he starts to plan the robbery, he knows his history. On inquiring how he knew the thief, John answers that his partner has told him everything. She informs him about everything including the information about the thief. They take the thief and eggs into different cars so he can't steal again. John hands over the egg to the officer. It is seen here that the partner who informs about the thief is herself a thief. She switched the original eggs from the artificial and escaped secretly. In the next scene after some time, she informs John that this egg is artificial. As John tries to explain himself, she accuses him and arrests him. Noticing the jail is located in between the mountains, and the thief is already in the jail. The thief is happy to see John in the jail. The thief further informs John that a billionaire in Egypt has laid down a condition that he would have these eggs gifted to his daughter at her wedding. Whoever will find it, will be paid a huge amount. Hearing this, John inquires about the third egg as no one knows about the third egg. He doesn't tell and says he is still thinking about the second egg which an arms dealer has. And it is kept in a villa's wall. He says that he likes parties and there is a grand party in that villa soon. At that party, everyone comes with a mask, and no one discloses his face. Then the thief declares to everyone that John is a police officer. And a prisoner starts to fight. The jail officer arrives to break up the fight and takes them to their cells. Here an officer informs that the captain wants to meet. They run into the same girl who was John's partner. She used to inform John about everything. She says sorry for trapping them. She states that she has come to learn about the third egg, which only the thief is aware of. She offered him that if he told her about the third egg she would bring him out of jail, and also will share a 10% commission. The thief denies and she leaves at once. Furthermore, John claims that he wishes to catch her and prove his innocence. He asks him if he abides in him both will achieve their mission. At night John reminds the thief about the party, and they have to plan something soon to escape. The next day thief states his plan, which is a simple process. They had a blast and there was smoke everywhere, they reached towards the main gate. They indicate a card that he had stolen while police were taking John after his fight. In the next scene, by breaking the wall of the jail they have to reach the helicopter. Here police officers try to restrain them. John was about to die, but he somehow survives by jumping into the helicopter. Finally, they take the helicopter and leave from there. Further, we see the girl, who was sitting with an FBI agent. She deletes all the records by using the computer. She further informs the agent about the running away of John and the thief, and also about their arrival at the dealer's party. Here John leaves with the help of the thief at the dealer's party. The thief informs John about the plan, that they have to reach the wall secretly from the guards and cameramen. Which is made with such a technology that opens after recognizing the face and voice of the dealer. Also, on the door of the wall, there is a password for which they have to steal his phone, and thumbprint too. In the next scene, we notice they come to a party. The thief asks John to steal the dealer's phone, and he himself manages to take his fingerprints. John notices Bishop, thief restrains him to go. But John goes and offers her a dance. He does so to make the dealers jealous and come here. So he could steal his phone. And it happens, John cleverly steals his phone. The thief was also successful in obtaining his fingerprints. 
They come into his room secretly escaping from the guards and manage to open the store with the help of his phone and fingerprints. Before they enter, the agent comes but John pulls her out and goes inside the store with the thief. Now they watch the act in Bishop as well. She was already there. They fight a lot with Bishop, but they can't encounter Bishop, and she holds them. Later on, the dealer appears with his guards, and it is to be noticed that she is working with the dealer. And they plan to bring John and the thief here so they could catch them. They take them to a secret location, and here Bishop declares to the thief that if he tells her about the location of the third egg, then she will let them go. Otherwise, she will torture John. Bishop gives an electric shock to John, and they torture them. Meanwhile, the thief tells them the location of the third egg, and informs them that is in the desert. Here the bishop gives champagne to the dealer for celebration, and he falls. Here to be noticed is that she has double-crossed him too. She takes the egg from the dealer and goes. Later on, the dealer comes to his senses, and his visions are blurry. He begins to fire, and the chain of John breaks. John is released. John is about to go by leaving the thief alone because he has been tortured because of him. He states that he had informed her wrong location. Listening to this, he releases him and they manage to escape. They find themselves in a stadium where bullfighting is going on and they are stuck. On the other side, the dealer is firing on them. But they somehow manage to escape. In the next scene, we see them on a train, and John asks the thief about the third egg. John attempts to scare him, but he doesn't say anything. John emotionally states that if he helps him and proves he is not guilty, he will catch Bishop and will make him the number one thief in the world. The thief states that a long time ago, a special person Hitler had known about the egg. He leaves everything and moves to another place. He gets on a ship where he takes 100 ton luggage. A lot of people search for him because of this treasure. His dad was along with him. The thief further adds that after his father's death, from his drawer, a watch was found which he had brought from an auction. It belonged to the man who knew about the third egg hidden somewhere in the forest. John and the thief go there and with the help of that watch, they find a secret hole. With the help of his dad's watch, the thief opens the door. They find precious things there, antique cars and they find the egg. Before they leave, the bishop enters over there. She states that she suspected them so she chased them and came there. Then she demands the egg. Meanwhile, the FBI agent reaches there with her whole team. To save themselves, the three of them escape by sitting in an antique car. FBI team also chases them on antique cars. They pass through a large hole and emerge from a waterfall. They leave the FBI team behind. Here the thief mocks the bishop that he'll prove after she goes to jail that he will be the world's biggest thief. Bishop asks John to arrest her. At this point, the thief discovers that they are both working together. They plan to know the location of the third egg. John informs the thief that his father was a thief too. He too wants to be a big thief. They tie the thief and go. The next scene shifts towards the billionaire's daughter's wedding. The three eggs for the first time bring together. She becomes happy. John and the bishop are here. They are rewarded with a huge amount in exchange for the eggs. Here that agent comes with an FBI team and arrests the billionaire for taking stolen material. Both of them leave. Later we watch six months later, John and the bishop enjoying on a boat. Meanwhile, the thief appears and they are both astonished. He states the FBI had caught him and was going to take him to jail, but he escaped. He comes here later. He says that he has given the location of the heavy amount to that agent girl. Now they are also empty-handed as he is. He further states that he has another plan, and they have to work with him if they aren't with him, the FBI will arrest him. John resists initially, but later they both agree. Before the agent comes there they leave. We find them in another city, ready to commit another heist. And here the movie ends.